Oh! Oh my god! Did you do that? No, bro. Oh. Alright fam, it's been a long time since so I've been extremely terrified to to do a video. Now my mom told me about this place ages ago. It's owned by our family. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more of the history and I'll, I'll tell you, I've told Carlos and filled him in a little bit, but our friend Franco was looking for some new places to film and I suggested this place since we have access to it and a lot of crazy things happened while he was here. I think he may have caught an actual ghost on camera. This is the house right here. This is Carlos's first time. Yeah, this is my first time coming to this home. There it is right there. It doesn't look like much. It doesn't look like your average haunted house, but it 100% is. They were doing a little work here, and I hear that some of the workers got spooked and decided not to come back. So we're going to go ahead and go inside of the home. I'm going to explain to you some of the story, too, of you know the, the hauntings that have happened here and what I've heard and based off of Frank's accounts here and you know I encourage you to go watch that video I'm gonna leave a link down below for you to watch it on your own I just I did share a small clip but he he caught quite a bit of activity here and I think we are too I think these kind of spirits feed off of fear too and we are going in scared so with the, the evidence that Frank got yeah I'm kind of scared one thing that he encouraged me to do I brought a second camera and it does night vision he kind of does this on a lot of his investigations is he'll leave a camera stationary so I'm going to bring in my night vision camera and I'm going to have it rolling the entire night that we are investigating. We're going to be here for several hours into the night. It's going to be great. Make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. Ready? Yeah, man. I'm ready. All right. I'm excited. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Before we get into today's adventure, I wanted to give a massive shout out to Private Internet Access for sponsoring today's video. Not long ago, I traveled to Cuba and I wasn't able to access certain websites because there were censorship restrictions and it was painfully annoying. Private Internet Access can keep your IP address private and change your location so wherever you go, there are no restrictions giving you a complete internet experience. Ever had your private information compromised? I have. It's not fun and not having a VPN puts you at greater risk of having your identity stolen from hackers. Now, because of our current situation with this virus, many folks are home using the internet like never before, and a lot of us, including myself, are working from home, giving hackers even more of an opportunity to strike. While I'm at home during this quarantine, I'm streaming movies, downloading content, working, playing online, and I know many of you are too. Having a reliable VPN like private internet access makes it easier and safer to do this while scammers are trying everything they can to get our information. As soon as we're able to go back into public again, to places like coffee shops, airports, hotels, or anywhere where there's public Wi-Fi, we're at risk of having people spy on us accessing our personal data. I go to places like this all the time and I feel a lot safer having a VPN like private internet access. Available to Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Linux, and more. And available to 10 different devices. That way you can share your VPN with your friends and family. It's so easy to use with just one click and BAM! I can now browse the internet anonymously. Founded in 2010, private Internet Access is PC Magazine's editor's choice for 2020 and voted first place for best VPN in 2020. I don't know about you, but that's the kind of app I want protecting my internet privacy, especially during this pandemic. Stream Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, and more without censorship. And stop letting these websites you visit access your personal data. So how do you get protected? As a special thanks to my viewers, Private Internet Access is hooking you up with 76% off and two free months when you download the app using my link down below in the description. Get protected online. Go download it now using my link below. Let's get back to the video. So here is my, my other camera. Did bring that along. I haven't been here in a long time. Oh man, it's, wow, it's so sad. This house was so nice before. Oh, they did do some uh, stuff for Yeah, it. look, you can see all the floors yeah, are all, all been replaced. Wow. I wonder if this is the broom that he was telling us about. He said a, a broom had fell in front of him, and I think he caught it on camera. But, you know, I mean, we're in Florida. A lot of these homes settle. This is an old home. There's a possibility that something might be stationary for a little bit and maybe from the house moving, especially like with wood floors like this. 
Yeah. You know, it, maybe it, it fell just from him walking around. I don't know. There's a hole right there. Oh, that's the hole. That's the one hole that I heard of. That, so imagine all these holes throughout the entire house. I mean, I'm talking about everything was full of holes. All this wood is all new. Look, there's another hole right there. Oh, yeah. They didn't re replace that. But well, these are new. You can tell. Yeah. It's all new floor. It's really sad. I did some vlogs here in this house. It's right on the water. It's kind of creepy. Right yeah, no, definitely. Right but this place is so nice. I smell something weird. It smells like something's dead, but but not really. I don't know, it's a strange smell. Kind of way I'm thankful that we're not seeing it, but I, I wish that we could have seen some of the stuff that the workers pulled out of here. I heard, yeah, that, that would have been interesting to see. It was like birds with blood on them and chickens with their heads cut off. Yeah, and same area right there. Like really weird things. What? Oh no, that's fish, okay. <laughs> Did you say that was the Virgin Mary? Yeah, almost that from a distance, it looked like Look, here's some of the furniture that was, cause this was a vacation house at one point. Yeah. Man, what a shame. How many visitors is this? I believe it's two bedrooms. Oh, look at that big telescope. They really tore up the floor right here. They really tore up the floor right here. I got a weird feeling. Yeah, this was this was full of holes too. Damn, look at that knife. Yeah, no. So, floor all got beaten up and holes everywhere. Hey, look, there's a tripod. <gasps> Bro, that door just opened up right in front of me right now. Hold on. Hello. Hey. Hello. Did you just close it all the way or not? I mean, maybe. Maybe that's what happened. Was it me that closed the door or was it you? I can't remember. I remember. Okay. Was, maybe we didn't close it all the way. All right. I'm going to lock the door. Okay. There you are. Why is he hiding there? <gasps> wow, it smells really bad. Oh, okay. So, oh, look at this. Some freeze pops. I wonder if these are still good. Turn on some extra lighting there. So, let's talk about some of the history here because I didn't get to share that with you. This home was occupied by a real living witch. Now, the problem with this witch is, and I've mentioned this before, there's some witches that they, that they know what they're doing and there's some that they don't know what they're doing. I'm pretty sure she knew what she was doing because she cursed this place. But at the same time, I think that she kind of lost her mind in the process and she ended up making this house so accompanied by demons or whatever, what, Whatever was in here. Did you hear that? I kind of heard that one that way. It was like a whisper or something. So from what I was told is that this house became so crazy with activity that the witch and her family ended up leaving. And yeah, she was here, she had kids, she had a husband, but she ended up losing her mind. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but I was mentioning this in Carlos's video. She started putting holes in the in the floor because she thought that something was attacking her from hell in the floor. You know what I mean? I don't know if maybe she thought there was an animal there, but she, she legit felt that the, the spirits were underneath the floor. So that's why she started, I don't know if she was using a sledgehammer or a, a hammer or what, I don't know what she used to make all these holes, but this place was covered in holes. I've never seen anything like that in my entire life. Bro, what was that? There's more holes over there? Okay, they... Somebody just knocked on the door. All right, I'm going outside. I'm gonna check this out. I'll be right back. I'm gonna set up my camera. All right. My other camera, and I'm gonna leave it recording. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna... Oh, oh, bro. bro! What was that? That door just moved. <gasps> okay. Hello? Hello? Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check out the outside. I'm gonna double this. Dude, something just tapped 
underneath the floorboard. It almost felt like there was an animal under me. Okay, I'm definitely going to go outside. I'm taking my flashlight with me. Wait, hang on. What if there's something under here? I don't know. Let me know if you guys see anything. What the f was that? Bro, did you just hear that? It came from down here. Bro, that sounded like a cat. Yeah, it sounded like a cat. Okay. That sounded like a cat. That was a cat. Yo, I'm scared, bro. <laughs> this house is legit. Like, no, it's it's freaking nuts right now. Freaking what's going on all around us. Wait, what do you think? Did you, did you hear that? No. Yeah, no, bro, I'm freaking out right now. Hearing it all around me. thousand percent sure when that door moved this door over here see bro see there's somebody out there there's somebody out there oh dude that, how did that door open i locked it I locked that door. Right I'm gonna go outside and see what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up my camera. Yeah, set up your camera. I'll be right back. Let me check this out. Just set up the camera. It's in IR right now. It is possible there could be some animals in here. You think? I mean, I mean, it is an elevated house, so it could be. So you said that you saw more holes. Yeah, there's more holes. There's Where? one right here, and then it goes to this bedroom right here. Look at this big. This is the master. This is most yeah. likely where she was sleeping at. Most likely, right? Yeah. Oh, could you imagine? Like, she's sleeping next to her husband and probably thinks she's a complete nut job. And she's just, like, banging on the on the floor, like, oh! Oh, there's a punch hole right there. Dude, wow. Definitely, this is a big old hole right here. Where? This, this is a big new wood. Oh, this wood. Okay, I thought you said you seen more no, holes. This is just a big, I mean, the, think about the size of the hole they have to replace. Someone's fruit of the loom. See if you see any like witchcraft stuff. Why is there rocks here? Not that I even want to see that. Why is there rocks here? Rocks? Why would there be rocks in the bathroom? Know. Maybe they were. Maybe she was using that to throw on the ground. Tree branches? What is this? Oh, I thought it was gonna be like a painting or something. Interesting. Look, Omar, we love our customers. We sure do. <laughs> they, they keep coming back for more holes. More holes. One thing I'm scared of is like falling through a hole. Yeah, I know. It's in here. I mean, there was legit, like, there was holes everywhere. Alright, so this. What's up? Do a spare box? Yeah. The next video that we do here, we're gonna invite Frank to come along. I said we all, all of us come. And he has this really cool, it's like a wonder box. I've featured this before and I think it's the old South Pittsburgh Hospital. Okay. And uh, it was like the Huff Paranormal like wonder box, but he has some, it's not the wonder box, but it's very it similar. It looked pretty cool when I saw it on video. On the, on it it the is, video. it's really cool. And, and when he started using that thing, this place started getting really active, like just noises were all over all over the house i mean it, it you have to see that video i mean we've already caught a few things but i believe it was a cat i think she was doing like uh black magic or something like that. I hope not. because that's i mean for her to turn on her and for her to go crazy like that i don't know anything about that stuff i mean like i'd rather just not dabble with things like that i mean i love ghost hunting i love Using a spirit box, one thing I will not use is a witch board, aka the, the Ouija board. Ouija board? I've never touched one. I did when I was a teenager. I never did it. Um, no, yeah. you did it without me because I didn't do it. It was with Eric's brother. With Eric's brother? Yeah. He had one in his house. And I was just like kind of curious about it. So we're going to use this new app 
and it's it's by the same people that I, we're going to use two different apps today there's links down below this particular app came out before the other one the original app that i'm always using in these videos and they're they're amazing there's a lot of spirit activity that that you catch with these apps so we're going to use the first one so we're going to use two different ones um this one i've never used before but i was told that it is just as amazing who's here with us <coughs> Sound like Mike. Hello. <coughs> All right. How many spirits are here? Yeah. Back. Are you a good spirit or you're a bad spirit? Believe. That's what it sound like. Believe. Could be. Hello. Why are you here? Out. Out. It's a witch. It's a witch. It's a witch. witch. Too. Yeah. Possessed. Why did they destroy this house? It's not like almost war. Were they having war with themselves or something? This is a really good app. It's picking up a lot. It's picking up a real lot. So this has a, vi a visual. I don't know exactly what this is doing. Question. Did I just say my name? Carlos? That's what it sounds like. What's here with us? What was caught? We want to talk to the dark figure that lives here. Same. Bro, I swear I just heard a giggle behind me. <coughs> Nothing is allowed to follow us home, okay? You said yeah. You said yeah. I don't want you following me home. Nah, no, I don't want to follow me home either. So this is the original app that I use. Carlos is gonna. He's kind of exploring. Out this real quick. Be careful. Yeah, no. What's your name? Warning. Warning. Dude, this said warning. So this is warning. this is my original app that I'm using right now. Mm -hmm. that, okay, that's the original. Right? Bro, that said hi. That said hi. That didn't come from this. No, that said hi, bro. You heard that? Yeah, you picked, heard did that. you pick that up? I too? picked that up too. I was just turning the camera towards myself. Who said hi? Demon, it said demon. Bro, oh, you just hear a growl back there? This is where the witch would sleep. What was it that was underneath the floorboard? Was it an animal or was it something from hell? What was that? What was that, bro? No, what the I don't know, I don't know, man. What if we just open something up? I don't know. If we can open up a portal or something? Like, my head's starting to hurt right now. That's gone. <laughs> bro, that. <laughs> Cannot follow us home. I heard home too. There's something out there. <gasps> no, no, so that's flip here. Somebody's, somebody's in here. Somebody's in here. Hello? Hello. Yo, there's an animal or something. If something's in here, that camera caught it. Oh, look, the battery's about to die. Yep, yeah, it is. Dude, there's a lot of act. That was a fully charged battery on this. Goes that funny smell again too. Yeah. Hope it didn't um 
provoke something and bring them with us. Because they, like, they were saying home. Here's the thing, whenever you use those spirit boxes, it's very important to say a prayer before and after because technically you're opening a door. A portal. So whatever, I mean, it could be good or, good or bad. In this case, there's something bad here. There's something evil here that it even scared somebody who was herself evil, but maybe she wasn't evil. Maybe she was like a quote unquote good witch mm -hmm. and she started doing some things she didn't know she was doing. I don't know. I didn't know her motive. The last house that I went to that was similar, she was trying to get revenge on a lover. On a lover, on her husband. On her husband and the husband's new wife or new girlfriend, new girlfriend or whatever. Something. And it turned on her too. Ended up backfiring. She ended up being in a, in a crazy hospital. So you gotta be careful messing around with, with spirits and um, like what, what we do, we're not provoking spirits. We're being very respectful and we are protected. But some people, they go in head first trying to do this, trying to get answers to the other side and they end up getting into something that they don't want to get into. And it, it ends up costing them. It can cost you your soul too. Yeah. Where those footprints come from? The footsteps will come from, man. I don't know. It could be from underneath the floorboard. Because I definitely heard something and I felt something underneath my foot. Yeah, you said you felt like you got something tapped you over there. What are these noises we're hearing right now? <laughs> what are we hearing? Uh, I can't understand you. Mike, keep saying Mike. Mike, Mike. Yeah. What the hell was that? What was that? Me. Me? Who's, who's me? It's him. Where is him? That said lawyer. That said what? That said lawyer. Outside. No, what is that? Oh! Oh, oh my god! Did you do that? No, bro. Oh! oh. Dude, that door just freaking closed right in front of me. Bro. There's nobody in here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't put any cuts in this. Get out. Get out again. Bro, I just felt a really cold draft hit me right now. It did get cold. And I'm hot. Yo, look at all these holes back here. I didn't even see those. You think so? Yeah, we should come back. Okay. I want to bring a psychic here. You want to bring a psychic here? Yeah. See if we get any readings. Shh. Hey. Hello. Who are you? I heard you. Hello. Oh, you okay? dude, something tapped on my foot right now. Okay. I'm telling there are things underneath this this floorboard. Bro, somebody's walking in here. Yo, I'm scared. Is your VR still going or no? Oh, it turned off. It turned off then? Yeah, my camera turned off. Look, the battery died. Oh. It's in that area over there. It's over there in that No, room. there was something that like walked down this hallway too though. It's that side of the house, man. It has to be that side of the house. Everything's at. I'm hearing things everywhere though. Wait, is that the attic or what? I don't, where's that coming from? Bro, do you hear that? Bro, I just got chills. Look, look, look. That's an animal. That has to be an animal. Whoa, 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 whoa. OK, 
okay, okay. That's enough. That's enough, bro. That's enough. All right. We're leaving. We're leaving. I'm going to yeah, grab my thing. You got to grab your stuff. That's not an animal. That is not an animal. Bro, I got super chills right now. Yo, it sounds like there's something walking up on the attic now. I'm gonna look at my footage from the night vision because there was a couple times it did walk away. I'm not sure what we're gonna catch. I don't know. This is probably one of the most active houses I've been in in a long time. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see us come back here. Can't say that this place let me down. I wasn't really expecting that much activity in one place like this, but the place has history. A lot of history here, a lot of bad juju, a lot of bad things have been stirred up here. And Carlos and I got to experience it just like Franco did too. I'm gonna leave a link down below to his video. Be sure to check it out. I'm thinking about inviting him to come back here. And we were just talking amongst ourselves too about even coming here alone at one point. Maybe I'll just do just the infrared camera, like a night vision, almost like a lights out challenge here. You're gonna come in the witching hour? I have to, yeah, we both have to. Yeah. At different definitely. times. I think that's that's a great idea. If if you have any ideas, I'm thinking about coming and and investigating this place a lot more. Maybe I'll bring the G team here, maybe I'll bring Hunting the Dead, and we can get to the bottom of what's happening here. Like why did they rip or, or put holes in the in the floorboard? Is it because they were feeling things on their feet? Like we were, like you felt it too. Yeah, I felt it. No, I definitely. You even felt looked it. down at one at one point or the other, and you were like, "Dude, no, what's I, under I me?" Sound like it was coming from the floor, coming at us or something. And we heard footsteps all around us. We heard whispering. I mean, all I could think of is maybe it came from the ceiling, or I don't know. I don't even know what it was. All right, fam. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Be sure to check out my friends. Links will be down below in the description, as well as the apps that I use today. Check those out, use them for yourself, but please be mindful, be careful, say a prayer before and after. I gotta go for now before we leave, give me a kiss.